வெல்கம் வெல்கம் வாங்க வாங்க ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு பினாய் ஃபேமிலி சேனல் டுடே இன்னைக்கு வி கோயிங் டு மேக் ஃபிஷ் கறி ஸோ த ஃபிஷ் தட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் இஸ் தங்கீரி ஃபிஷ் தங்கீரி வஞ்சனம் மீன் பேரக்குடா பேரக்குடா மேக்கரி Spanish mackerel. Okay, now let's cook the fish curry. Come friends, I'll show how to make a Penang style fish curry. Come on, come on. We need to prepare the ingredients for the fish curry. I uh, we need uh, ladies fingers basic ingredients onion i use about 3 big onion uh, i slice the ginger and then uh, garlic brinjal two big tomatoes uh, ladies finger green chili and then you need um, coriander leaf curry leaves um and then tamarind i'm going to use about usually for fish curry we use more tamarind penang style means it'll be they usually cook the masala with the tamarind only so about this much i'm going to soak this tamarind in hot water okay for penang family style fish curry i use ginger garlic paste and this is our special chili paste you can see the video i have the link below and uh, don't think that's a lot of ingredients but uh, believe me the fish curry will be delicious so uh, i'm going to use this pot heat up the pot whichever pot that you're going to use to make the fish curry a nice generous amount of oil i think here i used about 1 quarter of a cup of oil okay now the oil is hot ready i'm going to add 1 tablespoon of this spices the talipu Okay, I always add another half teaspoon of fenugreek. Because it's fish curry. And for Penang style, we will put about 6 to 7 cardamom. Okay, let it pop up first. Okay, now uh, it's already popping. So, I'm going to add curry leaves. And also, I'll put a generous amount of curry leaves. going to add ginger ginger slice the garlic After about 10 seconds, I'm going to add the onion first. Okay, now we must make sure the onion cooks well. The usual, when you follow Penang family cooking, you know, we always make the 
I mean cook the onion until it's uh, soft, I mean like nicely golden. So I'll show you, you know, it will take time about 15 minutes. So don't rush. Let the onion cook and don't uh, keep on stirring, just leave it like that. So it will cook. So meaning, uh, just leave it like that. Okay friends, now you see the onion is nicely fried. Golden already. Okay, now I'm going to add the sliced tomato. One tomato you slice. And this is the tip. The other one more tomato I'm going to squeeze. So nicely squeeze and put it into the okay. For fish curry, you don't use a lot, huh? just uh, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and the chili paste, the special chili paste. One, two, that's all. Okay, friends, now I'm going to add the masala. So make sure you have a cup of hot water so that the masala won't get burned. And Simmer the fire. Okay, friends. One teaspoon of turmeric powder. Fish masala. I'm going to add about four tablespoons. One tablespoon generous amount of chili powder, and this is the Kashmiri powder, chili powder, about one tablespoon, coriander powder, one tablespoon, okay. okay. Here I'm going to add. Half one teaspoon of cumin powder and uh, less than half teaspoon of fennel powder. Okay. Now you can see the masala. I'm just going to add about one cup of water, hot water, and just give a quick stir. And don't add water at this point because we want to cook the masala. Let the masala cook the oil first. Okay. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. Now you can see the oil has come up. In Bahasa, we call this pacha minya. So make sure you cook the masala like this, okay, as I always say, don't rush, cooking need patient. So make sure the masala cooks well because uh, it's not uh, safe to have food that masala is not cooked properly, not good for the stomach, especially if you have children. So at this stage, I'm going to add the brinjal and the coriander leaf. Okay, brinjal. Don't add the bendy now, the lady's finger, bendika, okay, coriander leaves, and just add a little bit of water,
I'm going to add salt. Okay, I always add salt last. So salt is about here. I put about mine is the Himalaya rock salt, the pink one. So I have to put more. So it depends on what type of salt you're using. So salt to taste. Now you can see I didn't add the not I didn't add the green chili and the then uh, lady's finger yet but I'm going to add this fish today this is the fish that we're gonna use Okay, so now this time you have to cover and let it boil. Okay, now about 5 minutes the fish curry is boiling and now I'm going to add the lady's finger. Because we don't want to overcook the lady's finger and the green chilli, we want it to be crunchy. Okay, and I'm going to close the fire and cover and let the lady's finger and green chili cook on the heat. So now, uh, today, the next day, so nothing like a leftover fish curry. So the fish curry. Three. And I have this tose batter. So for breakfast today we're gonna have tose with the fish curry. Yummy yummy. fish curry with tose and a cup of coffee for breakfast so friends uh, thank you so much for watching please share like and subscribe to Penang family and uh, until I see y'all again in the next video bye I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast